seconds. And I said, stop the video, stop. That's a 59 less ball. Well, I was 15 years old when I bought the last ball. $440, which was quite a bit of money back then. And obviously I wanted to know if he still had his guitar because we're talking about one of the rarest and most desirable guitars ever made. I think the 59 is so, is so iconic. It's because of who played it. The difference between a guitar with figure in the top like that and a guitar with a plain maple top can be half a million dollars. I think Verlin's guitar could be worth as much as $700,000 if it shows up with the provenance and if it, the top is as figures as it looks in those photos.